Hello and welcome to this video about the history of the Yamato, one of the most legendary warships in history. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the Yamato's design and construction, its role in the war, and its ultimate fate. The Yamato was designed in the 1930s as part of Japan's naval expansion program, which aimed to build a fleet capable of rivaling the United States and Britain. The ship was named after the ancient Japanese Yamato province, which was once the center of Japanese culture and politics. The design of the Yamato was heavily influenced by the lessons learned from the Russo-Japanese War of 1904-1905, as well as the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, which placed limits on the size and tonnage of warships. The Yamato was designed to be the most heavily armed and armored battleship in the world, with a main battery of 946cm guns and an armor thickness of up to 660mm at the thickest points. The construction of the Yamato and its sister ship, the Musashi, was a massive undertaking that required the mobilization of thousands of workers and the allocation of significant resources. The shipyard where the Yamato was built was located in Kurei, Hiroshima, and it became a symbol of Japanese industrial power and technological innovation. The Yamato was launched in 1940, and it underwent extensive sea trials and modifications before entering service in 1941. The ship's crew consisted of over 2,700 sailors and officers, and it was regarded as one of the most advanced and powerful warships in the world. The Yamato played a key role in the Japanese Navy's strategy during the war, serving as the flagship of the combined fleet and participating in several major naval battles. The ship's first major engagement was the Battle of Midway in 1942, where it served as a deterrent against any American attempts to attack the Japanese mainland. Despite its impressive firepower and armor, the Yamato was not invincible, and it suffered significant damage in several engagements, including the Battle of Leyte Gulf in 1944. In the latter battle, the Yamato was sent on a suicidal mission to attack the Allied fleet off Okinawa, but it was sunk by overwhelming air power before it could reach its target. The sinking of the Yamato was a significant blow to the morale of the Japanese people and the Imperial Navy, and it marked the end of an era in naval warfare. However, the Yamato's legacy and impact have endured to this day. The ship remains a symbol of Japanese military might, and engineering prowess, and it has been the subject of numerous books, films and documentaries. The Yamato's wreckage has been explored by divers and researchers, and it has become a popular destination for scuba diving enthusiasts. In recent years, there have been efforts to preserve the Yamato's legacy through the creation of museums and memorials, as well as the development of educational programs. The Yamato's sinking was a significant blow to the morale of the Japanese people and the Imperial Navy, and it marked the end of an era in naval warfare. Despite its short operational life, the Yamato has become a legendary symbol of Japanese military might and engineering prowess. In the years following World War II, the Yamato continued to captivate the public imagination, with its story inspiring numerous books, films, and documentaries. Its wreckage was explored by divers and researchers, and parts of the ship were salvaged and used in the construction of other vessels. In 1968, the Yamato Museum was opened in Kurei, Japan, to commemorate the ship and its crew. The museum features a life-size replica of the Yamato's bridge, as well as displays of artifacts and information about the ship's design and construction, its crew, and its role in the war. In recent years, there have been efforts to preserve the Yamato's legacy and educate future generations about its significance. 
The museum has been updated with new exhibits and technology, and educational programs have been developed to teach students about the Yamato, and its place in history. Additionally, there have been calls to designate the Yamato's wreck site as a protected area, and to prevent further damage or disturbance to the site. Some have even suggested raising the ship from the ocean floor and restoring it as a floating museum, although this idea has been met with controversy and technical challenges. The Yamato was a remarkable engineering achievement and a formidable warship, but its ultimate fate serves as a reminder of the devastating toll of war and the importance of peace. While the ship may be gone, its legacy lives on through the countless people who have been inspired by its story, and the efforts to preserve its memory. Thank you for listening to this video about the history of the Yamato. We hope that you have gained a deeper appreciation for this iconic ship and its place in history. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more video like this, and we'll see you in the next one.